I scratched at it, and then more pieces of gold showed up. Ooh, ooh. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. So I just got out of the river after looking for gold under the water and I gotta say today was a successful day. Now before I begin this video I just want to say please if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video. Now let's go look for candy. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I just found a lucky spoon. So because the water levels are so high right now, I'm able to check the bedrock cracks that are normally out of the water. And cleaning these cracks underwater isn't only much faster, but you're able to see the smallest pieces of gold due to what's called refraction. The water is up right now. No big deal. Say hi, Martin. Say hi. <laughs> I noticed right behind this rock here, there's a big pothole and I've just spent some time cleaning it out. Now it should be clear enough for me to look inside. I'm pretty sure I saw a little crevice at the bottom of it. So let's open that and see what we find. Potholes are a great place to check for gold, especially if they have cracks at the bottom. Otherwise the gold will roll back out unless it's a bigger piece. A nice little piece of gold. So it's either two pickers or one nugget. I can't really see, but I gotta pull it out with my knife. A knife is a tool I recently started to use. It works for everything. But not as good as tweezers. I was wrong. Two nuggets. Now this tool I have in my hand is called a snuffer bottle and it's used to suck up the gold. Maybe a picker, they look bigger underwater. When the gold doesn't fit up the straw, what? it means you're having a good day. Oh, oop, <laughs> I dropped it. That is, if you can take it home. Now that that pothole is done, the crack runs up here. So I'm gonna spend a few moments cleaning this out of the way and see what we find here. Because of buoyancy, things underwater are a lot lighter, which makes it a lot easier to move things to find the candy. Now because this spot is so shallow, it makes it really hard to see. But rest assured, I will have a brand new camera for this in the near future. Just got a nice little piece. <laughs> I saw that little piece of gold and I scratched at it and then more pieces of gold showed up. I don't know how big the bigger piece is, but I want to find out. So it's not uncommon to find gold sitting with other gold, but it's definitely still exciting, especially if they are bigger pieces. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Looks like a nugget in there. Got tweezers. Oh man, look at that. Oh wow. Hey. <laughs> nice. I know what you're thinking. Polly, get yourself some tweezers. The truth is I have a million pairs, but they're all in the river. What? 
Not a bad little piece. <laughs> Some of these small pieces of gold are small, but they do all add up. Just found another little one. Ah, this is so nice. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at so far. Here's the gold all cleaned up. Oh man, gold sniping is where it's at. All right, let's see if we can double that by the end of the day. The river's normally way down there, and this is where I'm normally sniping. But since it's up so high, I'm sniping this bench, which is in line of where I found some big nuggets in the past. So this bedrock here is very loose and broken, which I find good for trapping small gold, but any big gold wouldn't stick around. I just walked upstream, looked in right here and found a nice little piece. I always try to look in the smallest cracks I can find because I've actually found some nice gram nuggets that were so flat they just fit right in there. I'd go deeper but i get blown downstream. This one tried to get away, but no candy will escape the candy man. All right, this is about time when I start to get really cold. A little more, and then I'm going home. That's it for me. Let's go back to the house and I'll show you the gold. All right, back at the house now. And I gotta say, that was a good day. It's always a good day. And I feel way better being warm. So let's go look at the gold. Not a bad take for the day. This is typically what I'd find when I'm sniping underwater. Got a few nice pickers in here, including this, what I would call mini nugget that kind of looks like an asteroid. Let's weigh it all up. So for our little nugget here, I'm gonna guess this probably weighs about 0.4. 0.67, all right, and for the rest. 2.12, that's pretty good. So 2.12 grams of luscious, beautiful candy is approximately $120, but you could sell it for more because you have actual nuggets in there. Then again, I don't do this for the money. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the near future. I have a huge lineup of new content on its way, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. If you're interested to see more content, I have a lot more already on this YouTube channel, as well as a lot of behind the scenes stuff on my other social media platforms. It would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss another video. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. Ah, this is so nice. <laughs>